This is Paul. Restitution for related conduct. Yeah. And uh, no proximate cause uh -huh. requirement. Pa -pa -pa. <laughs> now, a, uh, a a factor stakeholder stated should be considered in potentially allowing uh -huh. Uh -huh. restitution for conduct that is broader which, than the offense of conviction was that it, it could be a violation of defendant's constitutional right to due process. Yeah. Because a restitution could be awarded for conduct for which the defendant's guilt was not established. Ooch, ooch, ooch. <laughs> now, I know you want to say that I was incompetent to stand trial. Right now. Mm -hmm. But I would say that I gave you the actual evidence that I wasn't there. Yes. And in addition, they said it could lead to increased complexity yeah. to determine victim losses. Yeah. Now, when I email mm -hmm. what could have been 300 email addresses of law firms. Mm -hmm. That should have had a good working knowledge of the law and <clears throat> the availability of my mandatory restitution <clears throat> for the arrest that took place on January 4th. If they should feel a certain amount of liability that I again was arrested because of their knowledge of the felony of the false arrest that took place on January 4th. Yep, the intentional obstruction of me getting mandatory restitution. Yep. For the impersonation of myself mm, in Squim, Washington on December 31st. Mm. Now, I'm looking at the assets of some of the nation's largest law firms, mm, and all of them said, ah, 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 